What's going on? The what about it? It's here. What is in it? I don't know. You don't know? No. Are you excited? Yes! Are you excited? Look at him. Are you excited? All right. Yeah. Please. Knuckles, knuckles. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Headbutt, headbutt. High fives. You guys are filthy. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. What's up, everybody? My name's Dexter. What's up, everybody? My name's Riley. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ. <laughs> I can't even see over here. It's like. <laughs> I got a box for you. <laughs> it's just ginormous. It's so big. Are you ready? Yeah! This box was sent to me by Brooke Drum. Hmm. He is from printerbot.com. Wait, so that means you print your stuff. Maybe. Your stuff. We're going to find out. So this video is going to be pretty exciting. My name's Russ. Like I said, rwgresearch.com is my website. And today, we're going to unbox this box. Now, like I said, <laughs> Brooke Drum sent this to me. Um, I paid shipping. And he had this idea, and he called it Adopt-a-Bot. Adopt-a-Bot. That's right. <laughs> and, he, and he decided that he was going to send out all of his old printers and prototypes and things and old stuff to people who wanted to repair them and then give them to schools. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know what's in this box. It could be a pile of parts or it could be a fully functional printer. It probably is a lot of parts or something. Yeah. There's definitely, very gonna, there's definitely going to be a lot of parts. Yeah. So, here's what the cool part of this is. I am allowing my YouTube subscribers to be a part of this by picking the school of which this goes to. And to do that, go down to the links in the description and fill out the form. It's like three little things about you, what you want to do with it, and your name and how to get a hold of you. And my kids and me and the other three that aren't in this room right now are going to fix this up, make it fully functional, and then you guys are going to pick the school that it goes to. Isn't that exciting? Yeah! Huh? Yeah! Alright, so yes, thank I you. I gotta say thank you to Brooke for putting this on Adopt-a-Bot. Now, don't worry, I only have one printer here, but there's another way to get involved. I'll tell you about that at the very end. Um, so, here's the thing. We have to make a name for this. Whatever name we name it, the end of it is going to be printer bot. So it's gonna be whatever you pick, printer bot. Yeah. So what name are we gonna come up with? Hmm. 3D printer. 3D <laughs> printer printer bot. What let's get a new idea. Yee. What do you want to name this printer? You wanna see it first? Yeah! And then name it? Yeah! Because then we can name it better. Uh, okay, that's a good idea. Much easier idea. Alright. We need scissors or something to cut this. Okay, let's get a knife. Yeah, you have a knife in the pocket. Oh, I do. All right, don't get too close. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> you know, I thought you said you know. I thought you said what's what you're supposed to be oh, in there. I really don't know what's in here. Oh. There's the invoice. Put that back here. Yep. yep. <laughs> what is just sealed in with a bunch of bugs? Whoa! Now that's what I think. A, a right. Put all those aside. Hey. We're going to need this to package it back up so we can send it to the school. Okay, we got a box. First, a box. We'll, we'll set this up differently in a second. Whoa, this we'll is look a printer. at the box. This is a printer, right? It is. I'm going to say a 3D printer. Well, first thing. we have to. Wow. Whoa, this definitely is a printer. Okay. Uh, um. We gotta remember how this was packaged so we can package it back up. Something, Something like that. that. Woo! What do you guys think? Nice. They don't. They don't know what it is yet. Bubbly, bubbly. I think bubbly. that's good. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna lift it out and you move the box. Okay. Move it over there. Yeah, I'll move it on my side. You ready? Yeah. There's the big surprise. If I can get it out. <laughs> Ready? Ah! Look. Look. Whoa! Now that is a cool printer. What do you think of that? Oh, wow! It's the dual extrusion version. What is that? 
It's a dual extreme. You know how much work this is going to be? A lot. Yeah. It's going to be a lot. Okay. If we want to get the dual extrusion working, I think this is going to take a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love you. I love you. Say thanks to Brooke. Thanks, thanks Brooke. Brooke. Yeah, man. He had the idea. I'm just trying to be a help. Yeah, trying to be the helpful. best thing ever. Let's look at the bottom. Well, there's just a bunch of wire. I want to see wire. what... Uh, there's a bunch of wire. I want to uh, see what's in there. There's some spider webs in there. Spiders. <laughs> Hey, look at that. It is spider Looks like there's a connection to somewhere else. Oh, that plugs in there. This is almost made, made, all made out of wood. Yeah. See, there's one motor right here and two motors over here. Yep. And there's the spider webs. <laughs> oh, you're right in the light. There you go. Stuck down. There's the spiders. The spiders came all the way from a different part of California. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Thanks, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we got... Uh, I don't know what version board that is. What board is it? Called? It says printer board revision D. So we'll have to look that up. And then here's the dual extruder board. That might even be a, a new version that they just this put is, out. This is going to take a lot of work. We're going to find out if it is. So I don't know. I don't know what was originally in here. It looks like there's a aluminum block and everything else is laser cut wood. Laser cut? Like you have a laser. Yeah. A real one. That's right. This was cut with a laser too. I know there's something part. behind here. Yep. Oh, that's that. That's the cord. I guess that. Yeah, we'll have to pull that out and look at it. That looks like it's got a. Does it have it ready? Come on this side. Does it have a heated bed? Yep, it has a heated bed. Awesome. Very. This is, cool. is zip tied here. Remember how this is zip tied? We need to make sure we remember that. You know why? Why? We're going to have to put it back together. Oh. Oh, I know why. So we can ship it, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. we need to put it back together. Look at that. That is really nice. It's very nice and stable. Did he actually make this? Huh? Yeah, he made this. He sells these. See, it says on the back, made in America. Wow. Oh, he lives in America. Yes. He does. He lives in California. Let's set this over here. Okay, and let's go. Oh, get you in. Let's find out what's in the box. Yeah. All right, let me move the camera so we can see it better. Yes. All right. Yeah. So the goal here is to teach you and you how to make this work. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this working, get it operational, and then they're gonna pick the school it goes to. Wait, we need Ooh. to get that stuff off. Yes, we will have to get all that stuff off. Even the webs. Yep. Everything. Everything. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah. Oh, the power supply. Oh, look at all the wire. Hey, power supply. And some plastic. Plastic. <laughs> Maybe it's great stuff. Let's save that for a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. It's just a regular computer power supply. Wow, that's big. Just like on my other printer. Yep. That one looks brand new. Uh -huh. Might be. Brand new. Yeah. All right. Well. Let's get this, this part started. Looks like you plug it into the back. It's got uh, it's capped on. It's got some holes in it. <laughs> Normal, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's, he actually uh, uses. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder where he made it. I wonder. Wonder how this he must be Wait, he really needs help with this. Now that's what's in this ginormous box. <laughs> That's why it's so heavy. Yeah, it's so heavy. There's a printer in it. There's a giant box also. No, there's a giant printer. Yeah, giant yeah. printer most. It's a good reason to be heavy, right? Yeah. A giant, heavy printer. Homemade printer. Homemade printer is a homemade printer. Homemade yeah. printer is a homemade printer. They're watching. So it's got yeah. dual, Riley, right, it's got dual extruders on it. Two extruders. Mm -hmm. If you look at the nozzle, you see this? Yeah. This looks a little melted, huh? A little messed up? Yeah. And then this guy over here it's looks where like... You print it. Yeah, it looks like it's got a nozzle right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Because he tested it out. Maybe. So... No, we just went like that. So we got that one. This one needs a new nozzle on the end. We can figure that out. Yep. can make that work. Motors. Two motors. Don't. 
This motor looks like it's for this belt, see? Oh yeah, it is. And it and looks like there's five of these little motors. How many motors are there? Five. Wait, one, two, three. There's one over here. Is there? Yeah, it's one right here. Oh yeah, five. One, Keep two, counting. three, four, five. What about there? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. There's another one. <gasps> three on the bottom. Six. Six. There's six in total. Six That's motors. a lot. Six motors. Yep. And a lot of motors. This is going to be fun. And a lot of work. Yep. So, here we've got the dual extruders on there, Riley. These are the dual extruder motors. There's six of them. Six motors, right? Yep. Yeah, there's yep. some on the bottom. There's, there's three on the bottom. And one on this side. One and two up here. Yep, very good. Mm. Yeah, and I can only... So there you can see it's in pretty interesting looking shape. But uh, we can fix that up, I think. I've got what we need to fix that up. Yep, yep. Or we'll make one if we have to. Okay, so then we've got this motor here. And uh, it slides pretty well, actually. It's got a Z probe so we can level the bed. That's a great feature. And you're covering the, the light. Yeah, that's okay. And, uh, and we got the power supply. We can hook up to it. So, uh, yeah. I need to do some research so that you can help me, um, but I need to look up the software we need for this and a few other things, so we'll do that. Uh, I mean, all right, well, this is what we got to work with. You think we can make it work? Yeah! Right. What about that cord? You think we can get a dual extrusion working? Yeah. What about the motors? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to test everything. Yeah. We'll, we'll do our best to get the dual extrusions up and running. Mm -hmm. Pretty smooth. Yeah. Just needs a little more tape. It's not very really stable, but still stable. Pretty good. We'll go through all the screws. Okay. Let me set the camera back up the other way real quick. All good dog. All good dog. Oh my dog. <laughs> <good. laughs> oh my dog. This is a lot of wires. Okay. Now, we opened it, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what we got to work with. We have to get this working, okay? But first, we have to name it. Hmm, I already named it. What did you, what did you name it? What's the last part? Uh, printer bot. That's the last part. 3D printer, printer bot. What about you? You can name it, you can put a name on it, whatever you want. I like that name, but what, do you have Automatic. another name? Printer bot. Automatic? Automatic. Hmm, that might be too generic because automatic already has a definition. What you need to put you need to put a different name on it. Something that's just completely made up. Something you'd name a pony Wait, or a horse or a plane. You actually write it somewhere? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna put like, it on here. We're gonna label it. We can like write it right here. Right we're gonna here. label it. Like I would like to write it right here. here. Okay. Hmm. So what are we gonna label it? What are we gonna name this thing? I like to write all be all or be all or all be all printer bot or be all printer bot or be all printer bot oh be a printer bot like that or be a or be all be all how do you spell it I don't know B O made a name O B Oh. I'd say it again. Obio? Yeah, Obio. Obio? Yeah. Obio. Obio, Obio. Obio. No, Obio. Obio? With an L? Obio? Yeah. Oh. Is that cool with you? Obio printer bot? Mm, I guess so. You guess so? I guess mine actually likes it. You like that? Obio? Obio. That can be our name. How about we put that name in? Okay, what do you want to name it? I just said it. Since it's a dual extruder, you can both pick a name. Yours is Obiol. What's yours? 3D printer, printer bot. 3D printer, printer bot, Obiol. <laughs> Alright. High fives for everybody. Good job.
We got a lot of work to do, you know. Yeah. We got a nozzle to make and a hot end to probably repair. And maybe that's just plastic, but it appears to be a little melted. It looks like there's a zip line on it. Yeah. I wouldn't take off these zip lines. You do? I don't, um, think, I don't think you have to. No, you don't take them off. Yeah, because they're, like, stuck together. You have to, like, glue this or something. And I don't think we have to take these off. No, we're not. We can't. We're not We're not allowed to take them off. Careful, really go slow when you move it because... What happens is you run the motor, and the motor powers the board, and you got to be careful with pushing it by hand. It's really cool. You like it? Mm -hmm. It is really cool. It's shiny. So neat. Yeah. We'll peel this tape off, but we'll do it later. It's, we'll have sticky these. We're going to clean that off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Okay. All right. So we've unboxed it. Thanks, Brooke, for this amazing idea. I think this is so cool that you're going to give away all the old printer bots. I mean, look how much hardware is here. This is a lot of money worth of pieces and parts and prototyping and all for what? To give it to schools for people who can actually use them and teach people about 3D printing. I think it's really amazing. And don't forget, you guys are the ones who get to pick the school. They get to pick the school. Yeah. So go fill out the form right now. It's very quick and easy. Give me a story about what you want to do with it. And then when I give it to you, um, I'm going to ask for you to pay for shipping. That's it. Um, $40 is what I'm asking for shipping, which was the same to get it here in this condition. And we're going to make sure it works really well. Now the cool thing is, is if you miss this opportunity to actually adopt a bot, what is really cool is Brooke is thinking about doing this cool program where he's going to take people of all over the place and he's actually going to put together a small communication uh, between people and, and maybe even generate a nonprofit to where all the people out there building things can uh, donate parts and like he's got a bunch of extra parts to donate, just pieces, and then people are going to put those together. And if you're interested in doing that, of being a leader or working with hardware, this was just an idea that he had. Uh, I'll link that down in the description as well. So you have two things to fill out. One, if you're going to get this guy, what school is it going to go to? And if you want it, I would like the story. And two, go sign up for Brooks uh, Adopt a Bot program for uh, for the idea that he wants to do. And I'll link a bunch of videos in the description so you can see what he's trying to do. We got a lot of work to do. You know that? Mm -hmm. This thing doesn't even have a screen. So we're going to have to rely on a computer. And I have an old computer we could send with this thing. I'll even donate a computer. Yeah. A laptop. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Is that awesome? Yeah. All right. I'll do it. I think it's worth it. So thumbs up, guys. Let me know what you think about this video. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> High five. Whoa. High five. Knuckle. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. What's next? Headbutt. Headbutt. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might take for you two years. No. <laughs> <laughs> it might. Might take two years. <laughs> Very good. What if I said, what if it takes 100 years? It's not going to take 100 years. All right, let's put all that back in the box. We need to keep this box. Even, even, let me poke at it tonight and then we'll get a, a laptop, Riley. We're going to get a laptop. We're yeah. going to donate that. What about an old one? An old one. I've got some old ones. We can donate one. And we're going to have to reinstall Windows and we're going to have to put the software on there. We're going to have to configure it. Steel. We're going to have to get it running. Why would we have to steal Windows? No, we're going to have to install it, not steal it. <laughs> <laughs> like that was funny. Windows. So we got a lot of we got a lot of work to do, but uh, I think we can accomplish this. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna put stuff on. Then we can print stuff. Yeah, we can print some stuff. Wait, we're gonna print a bunch of stuff to find out and make wait, sure it works well. Wait, how about we and now we can send it out to somebody. No, print your car. Yeah. Um, car would the car would better. Like yeah. a motorcycle. <laughs> like a motorcycle. Like a motorcycle. Not a motorcycle. I want a big one. Motorcycle or sun. Our mountain. Why? Well, what if you paint? My little pony. What if you paint a thing, a paintboard, and then you print on the paint? You could. That doesn't make sense. Can you I would like a glass thing. What? What did you say? I would like a printer. Before dish. that. I don't know. Wait. Daddy. Hold on. 
It's going to take a lot of responsibility to do this. That is correct, and I know you can do it. They can. Now what I want to say is, maybe we should do a video of your three, of your other three, because I still have to no. work on. We got lots of other work to work on, but we're going to start with this one. Yeah, because we just got this. Like this. Whoop. I can't really see it. Okay. 